Hey, this is Ivan, the high handicap golfer. Uh, I'm still working on the new swing. Today I'm playing at, today I'm playing at Pacific Dunes. Um, played at Bandon the other day, it was pretty cool. I thought I would try Pacific Dunes. Um, we're just gonna try to go like 75 to 80%. I normally try to hit the ball hard, like it's really hard for me to back off, but I'm really gonna give this a whirl, see if I can just go 75 to 80%, make better contact, see how I can play golf. Doing it that way. I'm gonna use the uh, ten and a half regular flex driver today. And if we don't hit the driver well, I'm just gonna hit three wood or seven wood or something off the tee. Let's try to play smart. So I'm going to club up, you know, pretty much on everything. That utility wedge here. Whole thing there. Oh, God, if we would have got through that fringe, it was going to be really good. Okay, this is for par here. I need to chip this in. No, wait, that was for par. That was for... Yeah, that was a bogey. Sorry. Not a good chip. Looks like our second bogey in a row. So maybe there's nothing to this nice, easy golf approaches. Okay. Got a par five here. I was kind of aiming right to avoid those uh, bunkers in case it carried further. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 90 mile an hour club speed, very smooth, nice and easy in the fairway. So I got 269 left, a little smooth sticks up there. I'm going to aim a little bit more right. Not on the game. Here's my course map right here. If I don't know if you can see this. Red and white is the red and white target right here. So I got 270 yards to the pin. My target is 238 yards. So just line up with a six here, and I'm just gonna aim it to the right. Not, I can aim, adjust my aim on the game, but I'm just gonna do it by aiming to the right here. And of course I pulled a little bit. Right in that bunker where I didn't wanna be. That's okay. Good solid contact, so I'm happy with that. I think I'll hit a pitch on edge here. Just like that swing. That's what I do with you every time. Okay, so we got ourselves a par. If you want to roast me in the comments, feel free. My new swing 
is I'm really not trying to do too much with all, you know, swing pass, um, elbow, all that stuff. I'm, I'm really just um, trying to get my release started at the top. And uh, like I said, I was, uh, I was thinking last, last time Wes was helping me, you know, just like experimenting with different release points. You know, everyone has a different release point and started releasing way up here, which I know is opposite of everything you see. You see like early release uh, and you'll see, all you'll see is negative things and like how to fix it. So for me, early release helps me to finish, go all the way, swing all the way through the ball. And this is what I think, Wes can correct me if I'm wrong, but swing all the way through the ball and, and have a good finish where before I, have, I tend to like stop at the ball and kind of bail out a lot. So really that's the main thing I'm trying to work on. And like I said, I, I picked up a lot of speed, which is the opposite of what you'll hear, you know, cause like holding lag and all that stuff. And so I'm getting, I'm just trying to release as quick as I can. Oh, I don't know what it did there. That was weird. I think if I see the reflection from the uh, projector screen, like as the white ball moving, you know, when I'm swinging that. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, that's, that's the new swing. That's all it is. And it seems to be helping big time. So I'm just gonna continue to work on that. And, um, you know, I'm trying to just do like nice and easier, just keep release, working on the release point, get it ingrained, or I go out there and play golf. I'm not reverting back to what I've, always done and, and trying to hold lag and all the stuff that you get taught. Um, I'm just trying to have a nice easy swing with that early release, good follow through all the way, making good contact. There you go. Get a little sharp with the driver. It's this game is typically game. The Mevo Plus is typically short on driver distances, in my opinion. Maybe it's closer in accuracy to, to carry. I'm not really sure, but I know like in real life, I hit the driver a lot further than I do on the simulator. Maybe because we're in Oklahoma, we just get so much more rollout. I'm not really sure, but um, I've got 198.5 left. I'm gonna take four wood. And for you guys that don't know, my four wood is a stealth three high launch. I cut it down three quarters of an inch. It's a forward, 16 and a half degree. And they can put whatever they want to on the name, it's a forward. Two nice, easy swings. You know, a 400 and something yard par four, which are normally kind of long for me. No problem, right on the green. At 157, I'm gonna close up and hit a six iron here. It's a little right. A little right and a little long, but we're gonna get out, get up and down. I wish I could rewind that real quick, but like that club head speed is 80, 81. Uh, I've been swinging the six iron a lot harder than that, but yet it still went almost as far as I've been hitting it, just because, you know, I'm finding the middle of the face more with that nicer, easier, smoother swing. So, golf's one of those weird things, you know? Everything's backwards, like swings, you know, uh, easier to hit it further, you know, aim right to hit it left. It's just, uh, it's weird, isn't it? Okay, enough talk. Oh, that's gonna be too far. Way too far. Got a little whippy with my hands in the end. I, I wanted to get it, make sure you get up in the air. Looks like another bogey there. Oh, it three potted me, that's a double, dang it. Okay, 274. Not gonna hit driver here. I'm gonna hit that six iron again. Hope I don't push it into that sand. And uh, 
Leave myself a, a nice approach number that I like in. That was terrible. That swing. Might need the same flow again. This is uphill a little bit, so it's 16 feet uphill, 17 feet uphill. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's gonna add another five yards ish, so like 142. I might hit seven iron. Like I said, I'm gonna club up. This goes too far, it looks like the green. The flag's on the front, so this is all green back behind here. So hopefully we still uh, still stay on the green. Not a great swing again, but yeah, that's okay. So my misses have been better too. 31 feet left, I got a little 64 here. That had no business going that far. Like sometimes I don't agree with these chips, but whatever. Looks like we're uh, got another bogey there. Got a little left, but on the fairway still. So I'm gonna hit seven iron again. I know it's about 30 yards difference in the last shot working at seven iron, but um, this one's not uphill and the green is really long. So uh, if I miss a little bit, I should still be on the front of the green. And I hit that one pretty solid. A little thin, but worked out really well. So another par. Okay, uh, hole eight. I mean, we're plus five through seven. So, I doesn't look like it. I mean, I can normally score better on the simulator. I can score a lot better on the simulator than I can in real life. You always have a perfect lie. I'm comfortable on the simulator. I'm pretty good at chipping on the simulator normally. I know, like, I know what those distances mean. You know, obviously in real life, there's a whole host of other problems as far as like lie, um, chipping and putting. Uh, everything's just different, you know, like mentally it's different. So all that to say, I think with this new swing, I feel more confident. Um, if I can take this and just do that on the course, I know I'm going to score better. Uh, I know it, you know, so I'm going to continue working on the short game, get that better. And I think I'm going to be more consistent with my, my full swings. I'm going to need to work on that, you know, 80 yards and in, I really struggle with. So need to work on that some more, so hopefully Wes can help me out with that too. But uh, we are uh, gonna finish out this uh, front line here. Nice smooth swing right on the middle of the fairway. So we got 130, 129. Might hit nine iron, it's a nice smooth nine iron. Oh, and I didn't hit it very well. Not a terrible miss, though. So, tricky, tricky little pitch shot here. I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna try to flop it. Oh, well, I'm gonna try to hit it straight. Just like that. That's what I wanted to do, but. A little too far. Okay, another bogey. What can you do? It could be generous to give us a pot. It hasn't done that all game, so. Oh, it does! I called it! Okay, hole nine, 338 yard, par four, nice big, huge fairway. Wow, I mean, that is just massive. Looks like a football field or something, I'm not sure, but. Um, looks like that maybe combination of two fairways. I'm gonna hit a nice smooth driver, hopefully down the middle of the fairway. Give us a nice look in. That was not great. But we're lucky we have a huge, huge fairway.
Okay, so this is downhill a little bit. So it's down 16 feet, so that's another five yards. It's like 142-ish to the pin. I'm gonna hit the uh, eight iron. I mean, I'm trying to play about a club different of, you know, more of a full swing, so. Hold that, shoot. Kick right, kick right. I mean, right on the fringe, or right just off the fringe. Get this up and down. It should be good right there. Wow, just keep rolling. I think it's still good enough for a one putt. Yeah, so we ended up plus five, they're nine. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Yeah, so that's that's my new swing is early release. Crazy as that sounds. And I'm gonna keep playing. I'll do the black nine. Um, I might post in here what I shoot overall, just to let you know, but that's the end of the uh, recording. So see you later. Oh, hum, seven over, not even So over. I did go ahead and I kept recording and I played all 18, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the scorecard here now. Trying out hard. He had some three putts, had some bad chips. Could have easily been better. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit of an easier course, so it's a part 71. From the whites, it's only like 56, 5,700 yards. So definitely shorter, but um, I mean, yeah. This is like, I, you know, I've never really tried this for a full round, like just nice and smooth and easy. Um, and I'm pleasantly surprised by the results, how easy that felt. So I'm gonna keep after it. We're gonna do that. Keep practicing on the SAM. Um, so today's Friday, September 9th. I'm hoping to get out on the course on Sunday and um, put some of these swings uh, to use on on the course and come up with a course log. It takes me a little while to edit, but uh, I'll get a course log up soon. Uh, and hopefully that's from this Sunday. So, hope you guys enjoyed that content and you know some little insight into um, the new swing. I mean, one swing thought. Could that be any more perfect? Release early, and everything else is pretty much taken care of itself. Maybe it's because I've hit so many balls and my body just knows what to do. I don't really know. All I know is I think that Wes is a genius and all the crap you hear about early release being bad, uh, maybe it is bad for you, it's not bad for me. I know it's not, so um, yeah. Keep watching, like, subscribe, it helps me out a ton. Uh, getting, we're up over 250 subscribers now, wanna keep growing the channel, uh, get some more good content out to you guys. So yeah, like, subscribe, share with your friends, enter that stealth giveaway, get the stealth five hybrid. This beauty right here. So it's up for uh, grabs. Like I do is like, subscribe, comment on the stealth video. I'll link that up here in the upper right. Uh, we will see you later.